Hi, my name is David Greenebaum, and I'm one of the reference and instruction librarians here at Clayton State. I'm here to talk to you today about using subject searching in the library catalog and search databases. You are probably familiar by now with the use of keywords to search, uh, where you enter certain words and the search tools retrieve works that include or uh, mention those words in the title or text of the item. Another strategy you can use is called subject searching. Uh, the advantage of subject searching over keyword searching is its depth and its focus. With a keyword search you're casting a wide net to retrieve a large number of results. A subject search may retrieve a smaller list of results but they will be more focused on the topic you're looking at. The reason for this is that in the library catalog and the article databases, works get assigned one or more subject headings based on their content. So if a work has been given a particular subject heading, you can be sure that it's largely about that topic. This is an advantage over the keyword search, which returns a work as a hit even if it only mentions the keyword in passing. So let me show you how to get the most out of a good subject search. I'm going to go into the library catalog here and I have set up a keyword search to begin with uh, the don't ask don't tell US military policy so when I do that keyword search you can see that I retrieve a list of results all of which include those exact words don't ask don't tell in their um, in their title or in the major text of the item uh, if I click into the uh, record for one of these books. You will see, however, that the subjects that are listed uh, look a little different. So this one's been given the subject heading of gay military personnel and then uh, subcategories government policy and United States. Uh, in order to do a subject search, oftentimes it's uh, good to start as a follow-up after you have one or two items that are nicely on target through for your needs either that you've retrieved through a keyword search or maybe you already have found a book on the subject it's been recommended to you or something like that if you pull up the record of the item that is nicely on topic for you you can look through the subject headings determine which one or multiple of those headings is good for you and then use that as the basis for a follow-up subject search just clicking on the subject heading actually performs a subject search in most of our um, search tools, the catalog definitely, and most of the databases as well. Having done the subject search now, you can see that I have some of the items that include the don't ask, don't tell, but then we also have other items that do not use those exact words, like this one here, number three, or number five, I believe also uh, simply talks about service by openly gay and lesbian service members. So you can see that the words don't ask, don't tell are not present. However, the subject term, gay military personnel, government policy, United States, that is. It's useful to understand how this works. The, um, this is called a prescribed vocabulary. It means that even if different authors use different words to describe a topic, they will be grouped together under a unified heading. So even though this doesn't talk about don't ask, don't tell in those words, it's referring to the same concept and the same idea. Uh, different library tools may use a different set of prescribed terms. So while in the catalog we use this wording here, if I go into Academic Search Complete, which is one of our uh, article databases, here you see the subject term don't ask don't tell military policy is a valid subject heading and clicking on that will return a lot of material that uses that specific subject term or that has been assigned to that specific subject term so the vocabulary may not be the same between the different databases or search tools and it's useful to look at specific useful results in each one as the basis to choose which subject term you're going to search on. I hope this has been a useful demonstration of subject searching. 
if you are interested in any further help with subject searching or any other topic, you can always contact us at the library website via LibChat or by email, by phone. Thank you very much.